All right, now welcome to SC Custom Designs. I got a new camera here, so it's going to be a learning curve for me. Um, so let's see what, what we're going to do here. Uh, we purchased an upgrade for our 14 inch uh, Jet Pro. Uh, it's going to be important to pay attention to that Jet Pro part because when you order products from Carter products, for example, um, and what I ordered was the GA kit jet 14 DP so essentially um, It is the jet 14 inch guide conversion kit deluxe pro um, Because each one of these units are going to be custom according to your unit all right, so uh, And I got some disappointing news. I wanted to get the uh, Carter quick release that goes in the back they don't make it for the, the, the Deluxe Pro. So that was a bit of a disappointment. In order to offset my disappointment, I upgraded uh, the bearings. And this is what you're going to get with the kit. Basically, the bottom set of bearings and the top set of bearings. Um, and so you're also going to get this these parts here, which I believe its entire purpose is to hold on to... Uh, the fence here to, to protect you from the blade. This is my old one. Look how big it is. Um, so I'm actually not going to be able to use that. And uh, when I called Carter, because I had to uh, speak with a tech there, and by the way, they're really nice people there. Um, they'll pick the phone up and they'll, they'll talk to you and they'll answer your questions. They said, just just know that you're not going to be able to use this. Now, because I'm a woodworker and not a, a steel worker, you know, a machinist, um, I don't know how to start dealing with, uh, you know, <laughs> how to make that work for me. So I am going to, as quickly as possible, go through the steps of replacing uh, the bearings. And we're going to go over the, the specs of the bearings, so on and so forth, in the next video. This one here is all about how to get that on there now i was proactive just to save time and um i'm going to mount my camera shortly by the way because i realize how annoying that can be but uh you'll notice i didn't i don't have the the fence on now as i bring this over um know that it is a lot bigger than than, than the carter unit okay and the advantage of the, the Carter unit being smaller is that it's less bulky to get in your way when you're doing uh, putting your stock through. Okay, so that's the first thing you'll notice is how much smaller. Let's see if we can kind of compare down here. Let's see what we got here. All right, so that's off. Let's move that over here. Oh, I put this here to let you know that, unfortunately, this piece broke. Uh, this piece here uh, goes here in the back, and it holds on to this piece here, which it, you got your lift to take the pressure off the wheel, and uh, it mounts here, and uh, it just broke right off. I mean, it's broke. I don't know how that's even possible, <laughs> but it did. All right, so now I am going to have to mount the camera because I need my hands. And I do apologize for all the shaking and the quaking. I try not to do that, um, hence mounting the camera. So once you're mounted here, hopefully uh, we're good. All right. All right, all right, so there we go. Um, <clears throat> of course, when you're working on a bandsaw, any tool, you're gonna wanna remove the plug. Make sure it's unplugged. If you can see the plug, unplugged, guess what, it's unplugged. Um, I wanted to set my Carter stabilizer here on the top of the, the table because guess what? I cannot use this with the new conversion kit. So, well, that's going to be stored away. Uh, look up the video on that. This is the Carter Stabilizer. And basically, you could remove all of your bearings and just use this guy here. 
and there's a slot inside there that the blade fits into and it's got to be the smaller size blades and you can basically twist your wood any way you want almost there twist on a dime so i put that there just to remind myself that that's a deal so we'll take the table off the pin there take these guys off Take the table off. And now we have to remove the bottom <coughs> bearings. Voila! <laughs> so I took those off. Um, in all fairness, I should probably show you these guys side by side. I'm going to try to do it with my camera set up. Sorry, it's just the best I can do. Uh, there's not a lot of light over here, but there you go. One on the left is the old one. This is the new one here on the right. Not a lot of light. Oh, well. Let's set him aside. And then we have this little plate here, which I, quite frankly, am not going to put back on. I found that when I'm taking my blade on and off, this guy just gets in the way. And at the end of the day, do what you feel safe, okay? That's what it's all about, is feeling safe. I feel perfectly fine. Now we're going to um, mount this unit here, okay, the back bearings and down on the bottom. I'm going to just slide this out and set it here so I can mount this hardware here. Now, they don't actually give you a hex for these screws, which I thought was weird. Um, this is a five millimeter, I believe. Five millimeter, what are you? Of course, when you're doing video live, you get, oh, there it is. My glasses are small, not so strong. Five millimeter. So they give you the two screws. We're gonna go ahead and put them in. Mount this. Yeah, it's a lot easier and quicker to go ahead and uh, take the bearings off in order to get this, this plate on. Okay. And, you know, the general rule of thumb applies here where you don't want to over tighten anything at the moment. Just sort of snug it up, you know, a little bit. So if things move around, you're able to, you know, finally set it. A little bit of play in there, right? Okay. Then we're going to take this unit here and slide it in. My very first comment is, wow, that bottom bearing is, is uh, that's not as close as I thought it would be. All right, so there is, um, and we're going to need their provided Ellen. Um, which uh, is here, and there's a, a little hex screw inside here. All right, again, don't over snug it. Just a little bit there. All right, so we'll set that there. So that's how quick that was to set. Now, this was another story. Uh, just beware, my tip to you is uh, that you're gonna wanna sand this post, get the, the factory paint off of it. And I feel like I had to go even a little bit more on that one. I had to really sand this because when I was practicing putting things on and off, I got the upper bearings. Um, unit here uh, stuck on it would not come off i couldn't even get it on i had to pound it on and now as you can see it's it's going on easy trust me that was a that was a bit of a thing <laughs> for me um so i'm going to stick this in here quick make sure 
that everything is going to work just fine. And you can see that it's not going in. Again, there's a little screw here that kind of worked its way in, I guess, a little bit. So I have to loosen that so that goes in. There we go. And again, just a little, just a little snug, okay? Not too much. Don't go crazy. And that, in theory, is as quick as it gets. Really, you're going to find that if you don't do this every day, like I don't do this every day. I'm a QA software guy in the daytime. I see custom designs is nighttime and weekends. Um, and so, by the way, I just want to hope and pray that everybody's okay out there with the COVID. Keep yourself safe. Keep wearing those masks. Here in New York, we have a, a, a saying for state New York tough because uh, our governor, Como, is very tough on this, and I'm glad he is. Um, there's other states that have gone whew, the other way, like Florida. But wherever you are, whatever country you're in, um, please be safe. And let's get this thing over with as soon as we can. All right, so now what we're going to do um, is open up our doors. I, hopefully I'm not in my own way here for the video production. I'll have to walk over there and see. Um, and we're going to put on a blade while everything is just uh, kind of loose. All right, I keep my blades behind my bandsaw. And I'm going to put on uh, a, a smaller blade here. Oh, that was a uh, the speaker I listen to the music with, so if you can't listen to music, it's all copyrighted. You'll learn that with your YouTube videos right away. All right. Yeah, because I couldn't afford to have Mr. Snodgrass come over to my shop. <laughs> and congratulations, I think it was Tom that, that won uh, the Powermatic Bandsaw, 14-inch Bandsaw. Uh, that's just tremendous. You know, as I'm putting this on, I'm forgetting that this isn't going to work because um, I, I broke my the lever, which which takes the pressure on and off. So I actually can't even do that. Whoops! I got to get that replaced uh, and or repaired. So there you go. But hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Please. Uh, Feel free to ask me questions about my experience. You know, like I said, I don't do this every day, so I, there was I had to do try three times to get myself to the point where I could seamlessly put this on. All right. So that being said, I am going to go ahead and snug this up a little bit more because you know I won't be visiting this for a while. Okay. Um, so we're going to just snug it up. I said I have to have that piece replaced. But I'm really looking forward to um, using these. So these bearings apparent, uh, are um, can run at 30,000 uh, revolutions per minute, whereas apparently most bearings are going to spin at about 5,000 RPMs. So what an upgrade that I have for my unit. And I'm really looking forward um, to actually getting around to using this. But um, again, this air piece broke on me. To this day, I can't figure out why it broke on me. How I could break such a thing. Yeah, so this is the piece that was that is uh, mounted on the back there. So I'm going to get a friend to, uh, looks like cheap steel. See if he can uh, uh, weld that for me, um, and or call call uh, Jet and tell him, hey, look, this piece broke. I hope they sell just this piece. I hope I don't have to buy the whole uh, gosh darn assembly. <laughs> That'll be another setback. This here, these units here, cost uh, me about two hundred thirty nine dollars to get to my house. Okay, so you'll find that you're upgrading your um, equipment. Um, throughout the journey 
Um, and so that's that's exactly what I'm going to do. I, I'm hoping that Carter will uh, go ahead and figure out how to put their quick release onto a 14-inch Jet Pro. Thanks for tuning in to SC Custom Designs. Uh, hopefully my video wasn't too disappointing for you. I would have loved to have seen this right into action, but that's going to have to be part two. Part two will be, da -da -da, what did we do about the back there? How did we get that uh, fixed? And then uh, we'll just go ahead and have the blade already on there. And, and there you go. So thanks for tuning in. I got 700, boy, the videos are piling up, 700 plus videos now. Um, on a variety of subjects, we talk about uh, new tools. Um, I, if you've been following me, you know that I'm switching over from other companies' uh, battery-operated tools to DeWalt. I found DeWalt to be uh, very strong and reliable. One tool that I'm not happy with, so much so, is the reciprocating saw uh, or a sawzall. It is very vibrating. <laughs> so. You know, if your arm is stiff, that'd be a good tool to use. It's loosen up your arm. Uh, but I have a lot of tools like uh, from Dewalt. So I'm going to say uh, shalom. Goodbye in my five languages. Shalom of the Chavarim Shali Barat Israel. Goodbye to my friends in Israel. Mastalami. Uh, that's Arabic. Uh, the first language was Hebrew. Tutsins, uh, Afrikaans. For we'll see you later. Tsaijin, Chinese, Mandarin. And we'll see you later. Uh, how do we say that in New York? Hey, we'll see you later. <laughs> Take care. And by the way, if you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate it. Thank you.